is more often we hear about hydrogen, but how is it produced and why could it be so important in the energy scenario? One way to produce hydrogen is through electrochemical cells called electrolyzers, able to work receiving electrical energy as input. The hydrogen produced then can have many hand uses in the society, in the industry and in, and in the energy sectors. However, it can be considered sustainable only when it is produced by using renewable energy. So, what is the challenge? The challenge stays in, find, in finding the most suitable and less impacting electrolyzer technology to produce hydrogen. Nowadays, one of the most advanced technology in the low temperature field is represented by proton exchange membrane electrolyzers that allow to reach high efficiency values over the advantage to work with ionized water as feeding solution. However, the catalysts used for electrochemical reaction are noble metals, the so-called precious group metals, as platinum and iridium, which have high costs and are often difficult to extract. These aspects have a direct impact on the cost of the hydrogen produced, without neglecting the environmental and social impact caused by the metal extraction. For this purpose, the life cycle assessment analysis should be an important tool to evaluate the technology in its whole, from cradle to grave. The newly project was born with the aim to eliminate the usage of noble metals in the electrolyzers, focusing on anion exchange membrane technology. The AEM electrolyzers, in fact, do not need PGM materials to produce hydrogen. As a consequence, metals with lower costs as nickel and stainless steel can be used. This has a positive impact on the cost of the technology and so of the hydrogen produced, with equal efficiency. The challenge in this sector is represented by the efficiency, because if fixed the voltage, the AM cells at the actual state of the heart can reach lower current density values than the PM cells. Activities of the Sustainable Energy Center are focused on this aspect, and I am giving my personal contribution on this field. We work to improve efficiency and durability of these systems. To do so, a test bench is present in our facilities to test an AEM electrolyzer cells with an active area equal to 25 square centimeters. Several membranes and electrodes developed by European partners of the newly project are tested in order to analyze the performance and durability of these materials. Finally, an AEM 5 cell stack will be installed and tested soon. These experimental activities represent a fundamental and necessary step to test new material which will allow to fill the gap with PM technology and to reach higher performances and higher efficiency values. These will lead to a fast penetration of the AEM technology in the hydrogen market, thanks to lower cost in hydrogen production and to lower environmental and social impacts, making possible new amazing scenarios in the renewable energy field. So, it is evident the positive impact that such research work will have on the environmental global challenge that the world is facing.